Hi guys, welcome to the new Astro Panel 2025 video tutorial. In this video, I will explain how the new update regarding the Fusion tab works. We will cover the Manager tab, the Star Trail tab, and the Sky Stack tab. Let's start with the first topic, the Merge tab. As in all the other tabs, there is the file selector called Select File, which helps us choose the files to process. For example, if we want to work on a HDR night photo, we select the files and click on Open. The files are loaded together with any XMP data. At this point, we can choose between different options based on the type of processing. For long exposures, for example to obtain the silk effect, we click on Long Exposure. For focus stacking, we click on Focus Stacking. To reduce noise by combining images, we choose Mid Stack. In this case, it is important that the images are identical. For a classic HDR, click on Align HDR. For a Night HDR, select the Night HDR option. To create panoramas, we can use the dedicated function. The time it takes to load and align the files depends on the power of your computer. The faster the processor, the faster the process will be. Let's now move on to an example of a Night HDR. This is a multi-exposure that allows you to recover both the highlights and the shadows in an urban landscape. Once the file is loaded, we go to the Star Trail tab, where we can select images to create star trails. We load the necessary files, even a set of 18 images, although they are less than a standard, is enough to show how it works. Here we find two effects, Comet Effect, which blurs the star trails for a more dynamic result. Fluid Effect, which makes the trails more homogeneous and fluid. After selecting the desired effect, just click on Blend Files to complete the processing. We now continue with the Sky Stack tab useful for adding images of the Milky Way and Deep Sky. We select the images to be processed, along with the necessary dark, bias, and flat frames, and proceed. In this window, there are some important options. Alignment precision, which tells Fusion how precise it should be. Lower values increase the processing time. Maximum alignment radius, which helps to manage non-astro tracked images. For example, we can set a 50 pixel tolerance between one photo and another to avoid them being discarded. For astro tracked images, a standard value of 15 pixels is recommended. After uploading the files, click on the Place button and wait for the sample image to load. We select the Rectangular Selection tool to define a sample area rich in stars. This area will be used for the alignment. We adjust the threshold to select about 15 point stars. Once we find the correct threshold, we set it in Fusion. When we are satisfied with the result, we confirm and click on Start. Once the processing is complete, Fusion will complete the image stacking correctly. In the next video tutorial, we will deal with the development of the processed image. Thanks for watching.